What's up MMA fans? So this video is just a comment on some news or something that was already reported a while back on the Joe Rogan experience where Cody Garbrandt and Uriah Faber came in to talk to Joe Rogan and what was mentioned was that TJ Dillashaw retired Chris Holdsworth because what happened was TJ Dillashaw got choked out by Chris Holdsworth in practice and then upon being choked out Dillashaw gets up and knees Chris Holdsworth to the back of the head multiple times causing a fight ending concussion or I guess in this case it would be brain damage that completely screwed up Chris Holdsworth and this is definitely something that's very sad I don't know if it's true because when you watch the interview you can note that Uriah Faber is very uncomfortable speaking about it however Cody Garbrandt is much more open to talking about it and saying that it was the truth that TJ Dillashaw was in fact the man who ended Chris Holdsworth Chris Holdsworth's MMA career I myself don't know what to make of it but I can say that if it is true it's very sad and it looks really bad on TJ Dillashaw's part yet at the same time TJ Dillashaw is very very competitive he's right up there with the best in the world so if Chris Holdsworth was a man who would end up having dethroned TJ Dillashaw or being a long-term champion then TJ Dillashaw in a way did some dirty work yet in some way effective by ending a career of a man who could have or who was beating him in practice because that was the report that T Chris Holdsworth while in practice in alpha male was the beast was the guy who was who was the best guy at the at the gym at that point this this is what was being said by Cody Garbrandt and Uriah Faber so it is sad because this is a talent that I really really would have loved to see over many more fights and it, during his time in the UFC it did look good he was undefeated in the UFC in professional MMA in amateur MMA and on tough where he won the whole ultimate fighter tournament so as I said before Uriah Faber was very uncomfortable speaking about it whereas Cardi Garbrandt was saying that this was the truth and it should have been told and Joe Rogan was also on that boat about being more open about it and speaking about it I myself have to say that I don't know whether it's true like I said but it is very sad that Chris Holdsworth has not fought and in coming up in November it's gonna have been three and a half years since Chris Holdsworth last fought in mixed martial arts so I wish the best for Chris Holdsworth I didn't know how great of a talent he was I didn't really follow the the whole ultimate fighter season but according to his record according to Uriah Faber and Cody Gar Garbrandt this guy was an amazing talent so I really hope that this guy does get back to fighting in MMA even though three and a half years does not look too good of a break from fighting in MMA especially now in 2017 taking off that much time definitely means something and in this case it looks like it doesn't mean it's something good so those are just my opinions and thoughts how far would have Chris Holdsworth gotten in MMA and what do you think of TJ Dillashaw if he was in fact the one to blame for Chris Holdsworth's retirement? Alright, so please like and please subscribe. Thank you very much.